Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've clicked on this video then you're probably wondering about the new Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time port to the PS Vita. This version, known as the Ship of Harkonnen, has better frame rates, graphics, controls, and camera angles, and is thought of by some as the definitive way to play the game. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up on your PS Vita so you can try it out for yourself. Let's get into it. Here's a list of all the things that you're going to need in order for this port to work. The libshack file is really important and I have a video with a link in the description showing you how to set this up. It's through Sharkbreed and the Vita database. You're also going to need the Ship of Harkonnen VPK or SOH.VPK as well as the OTRGUI.zip file also found below in the description. Alright, and lastly you're going to need the ROM file or the actual game. It's 2025, I can't actually tell you where to find this, but if you use your brain and a little bit of searching, you should be able to find what you need. Alright, now that you have all the links, you should have access to all the files that you need. I'm going to get us started here in the Vita database, which is where I'm going to download the VPK for install. All right, now that our VPK is installed, we'll back back out to our home screen, and then you'll see the Ship of Harkonnen app bubble newly installed on your system. Now I'm gonna load it up just to see what happens without installing the files, which I have a feeling that a lot of people think that that's how this works. But you're gonna get this C212828-1 error file, which is basically telling you that you don't have anything installed and that this VPK doesn't work with all the things that it warns you about. So over on our desktop, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So once you've downloaded these files, they're going to come in the form of a zip format, and you're going to need to unzip them onto your desktop. So I have the Legend of Zelda uh, ROM file here. I'm going to simply hit Extract All to my desktop, and it'll look like that. And then I'm also going to extract the otrgui.zip file. I'm going to unzip that file. And then you'll have the two unzipped files. They may pop up in different places depending on where you extract them, but I'm doing it on the desktop so you can see that here clearly. All right, once that's complete, you no longer need the zipped files unless you plan on doing this in the future. And so I have my two unzipped files here on the desktop. And we're actually going to compile um, another file from these two files, um, which will make the game work correctly on the Vita. So I'm going to open up this OTRGUI file, and this is actually an application that you're going to run. Um, as you can see here where it says application. Once you run the OTR application, um, your firewall might pop up, at least on mine it did for Windows, so I just had to click more info and run anyways. Um, if you've downloaded this from the correct place, you shouldn't have to worry about anything malicious or any type of virus. Once the file is loaded, you'll see this little ship of Harkonnen pop up, and it's going to have two little buttons. The one on the left is where you're going to load the actual ROM or the actual game file, um, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Hopefully you found the correct debugged um, version of the game. There's a couple different versions you can download. I'm gonna select that game and load it up into the application. So hit open. And then the button on the right is where you're gonna select where the file that it's going to create is gonna spit out. So once you've selected a place, I selected my desktop, you're gonna see all these scripts and things running in the background. And it's basically processing and compiling your game file. And you may also notice that it shows like an error in some spots, but the game ends up working fine. And as you can see right here on my desktop, it spit out this other file that you're gonna need to transfer to, to your PS Vita. And it says done to indicate that you've done that correctly. After you've generated this file, you really no longer need the OTR file and the Legend of Zelda data file. Um, so you can dispose of those or keep them for later, whatever you wanna do, but you've now generated the one file that you're gonna need in order to make the port to work. All right, so we're gonna hop back over on our Vita and go into Vita Shell because I'm gonna transfer this file that we've created onto my PS Vita with the FTP client FileZilla. In order to get this set up, I'm gonna hit select and I'm gonna run FTP and then I'm gonna hop back onto my desktop and load up FileZilla in order to transfer this file over to my PS Vita. But with FileZilla, you basically have to uh, connect the correct port in order to get it loaded up and here you can see all of my partitions. This is going to be the same if you're dropping this file onto your PS Vita. Um, you would simply load it onto your UXO to start with and then copy it into the correct folder. But from FileZilla I can literally go into my UXO and then we're going to go into the data file 
and then we're going to scroll down until we see the ship of Harkonnen, which is represented as SOH. Double click there, and you're going to drop that file that we created right there. And it's the same if you're using a different mode in order to transfer the file. You're literally going to copy it onto your PS Vita in the UXO or whatever, and then you'll copy this file into the data file, into SOH file, and paste it there. Now back over on the PS Vita, I'm going to disconnect my FTP connection. And then let's go in the UXO and see if that file actually transferred over successfully. Data, and then I'm going to go down to SOH, which stands for Ship of Harkonnen. And that file is right there, OOT.OTR. That's the file we're looking for. And once that's on your PS Vita and we have the VPK already previously installed, when we back out to our home screen, we should be able to just launch this app, no problem. All right, let's open up the app and see if the game runs properly. As a disclaimer, this gold screen does load for a long time. I sped it up in the video so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're seeing the Nintendo 64 logo and the game is actually booting up, then congratulations, you have now ported over the Ship of Harkonnen, AKA Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on your PS Vita. And now you can check out the game for yourself and see if it lives up to the hype. It's pretty cool that in 2025, we're able to get some crazy ports like this over to the Vita. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely comment down below. Like this video, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos showing you guys some of my favorite ports over to the PS Vita. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all on the next one.